Hi, I'm Mike Selden, CEO and co-founder of Finless Foods. Fish is one of the healthiest proteins we have available to us. It's high in omega-3, omega-6, and DHA. It should be what anybody reaches for when they're looking to improve their diet with something better. But lately, this hasn't been the case. Due to climate change and ocean pollution, fish has become something else. If you're getting your fish wild caught, you're going to have high levels of mercury and plastic in the food that you're eating. And if you're getting your fish from a farm, you're going to have high levels of antibiotics and high levels of growth hormone. And not only that, since farmed fish are generally fed fish that are wild caught, you're also going to have that mercury and also going to have that plastic. But despite all of this, demand is skyrocketing. It's doubled since the 1960s and it shows no sign of stopping. If we want a return, to the natural, healthy fish protein that we had previously, and we want to actually meet this demand, we're going to need to do something differently. At Finless Foods, we're doing something differently. We are growing fish meat, real fish meat, not vegan, not vegetarian, from stem cells. The way that we do this is we take a sample from a high-quality fish stock, we isolate just the cells that grow the fastest, grow them out in large quantities, and then differentiate them into the muscle, the meat that people like to eat, that muscle, fat, and uh, connective tissue. From there, we structure it, package it, and ship it out. The initial species that we're working with is bluefin tuna. And this is not just a conservation effort, it's also a good business move. Bluefin tuna is an extremely high-value fish, and this technology is all about reducing costs. Cell culture already exists, 3D organ printing already exists. All we need to do is get underneath that extremely high price point of bluefin tuna, and we can get on the market very quickly. But the advantage of this is that we can get our price all of the way down until it's competitive with cheaper fish. We want to give people the option, would you like to eat tuna, skipjack, and albacore caught with lots of mercury and plastic in it? Or would you rather eat the highest quality ahi toro from a bluefin without any contaminants for the same price? Our first products are surimi. This is a Japanese technology going back into antiquity, and it's extremely versatile. It's an extremely useful ingredient for soups, salads, uh, you can fry it, it's a dessert, it's chips, it can be absolutely anything. And one of the advantages of working with surimi is that we don't have to reinvent the wheel in terms of structure. We can grow our cells out, make them grow extremely quickly and cheaply, and then ship them to people. Surimi science already exists. There are Surimi scientists, there are Surimi factories. We just need to supply them with this high-quality, contaminant-free material in order to get us to market faster. That said, our final goal is that same sashimi and fillets and steaks that people are used to. Our costs are lowering dramatically, and because of this, we'll be on the market two years after investment in restaurants, and then two years after that in grocery stores. Because of the nature of this technology, we're able to do something interesting with distribution as well. We can skip distributors altogether. Fish distribution currently is a massive web of middlemen. It's people on boats catching the fish, selling it to people at docks, selling it to people who are in distribution, and then selling that to grocery stores and eventually to the consumer. With Finless Foods, since our technology has no tie to the shoreline and no tie to fisheries, we can produce fish incredibly far inland, creating a logically uh, distributed distribution system that actually not only creates, uh, kicks out these middlemen who are just adding costs on for the consumer, but also bringing fresh fish to areas where previously they had no access to it whatsoever. Our end, our end user interest is extremely high. People want to create a better food system. People are interested in eating food that, that doesn't involve animal cruelty, that doesn't ruin the environment, and that is better for them. My co-founder and I, Brian Wyrus, met six years ago at UMass Amherst where we studied biochemistry and molecular biology, my focus being in epigenetics and his in uh, primary cell culture. And we've built a team of people around us who are extremely qualified to tackle this problem. We have Dr. Robert Hughes, who specializes in biological scale-up. We have Ji Hyun Kim, Dr. Ji Hyun Kim, 
who uh, is able to recapitulate the exact biochemical environment inside of a fish, outside of a fish. And then Torin Yeager, our tissue engineer. And our advisors are similarly qualified. We have Don Luning, the former CTO of New Harvest, one of the first people to map out how this industry needed to function in order to survive. We have Pavan Kambam from Clara Foods, who specializes in bioprocess engineering and bioreactor design, and Dr. Jay Park, who literally wrote the book on how to produce Surimi. And because we have such a team of talented people, we've been able to accomplish a historical first. Just last week on Friday, it was the first time that anybody had ever eaten cultured fish. We are making history right now. All right, you ready? Yes. There you go. It tasted like fish because it is actual fish. I did notice a couple things that were missing. It didn't seem to have mercury in it, and it was also missing the antibiotics that are rampant in aquaculture. Why would you choose to farm or fish wild fish with all that environmental and human health cost when you could just have it made by a fitness food? So this is just one of many milestones that we've hit while being at IndieBio, and we'll be hitting many more very soon. We are currently raising a seed round that will accomplish two main goals, the first of which will be to create the first sashimi prototype that looks and has the same feel of the sushi that you're used to, and the next is to end our R&D phase. What this means is that we will have all of the technology necessary in order to go to manufacturers and begin producing this product for sale in, in just two years. We are currently raising $3 million, and we will use that to take these cells that you are looking at and revolutionize the way that everybody eats seafood. I'm Mike Selden, and we are Finless Foods. If you're interested in helping us with this, please come and talk to me or my team afterwards. Thank you.